Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and what is going to be a reselling video. You guys overwhelmingly tell me that you like the reselling videos the best of everything over here on this channel. So we have a reselling video and it's kind of old school. I haven't done one of these in ages and that is opening up some liquidation. So before I get into this, I want to have two big disclaimers. Number one, I am not currently reselling. I am taking this year off from reselling completely. I even closed my eBay store. Not even paying my little $5 a month starter fee just to keep the store there. I don't know why I felt that was important, but I did, but I closed it. I'm completely focused on my um, writing this year and writing more books. And so to just clear my mind, no reselling, no eBay, no whatnot. That was all the reselling I was doing, so no reselling. So when I order a box like this, I am not gonna be listing it online. I do have a local consignment store I take things to. That's where I will be taking this stuff because I'm not reselling. I mean, I'm reselling it there. I'm not reselling online. We're not photographing, listing, shipping this year, no. Also, boxes like this um, are very popular on YouTube and therefore this video will likely earn some nice AdSense money. So between... Uh, taking this stuff to my consignment store and then um, getting the AdSense for this video, this box of stuff was not a financial burden for me. And I just want to make that really clear before you go out and invest in your business and spend money on things. Um, this was not a financial risk for me. It might be for you. So I just want to make that clear before you run online and order stuff um, or go anywhere and buy anything. Uh, what I'm doing is for the video, and I do have a place where I can resell this. And if nothing else, I'll make my money back at the consignment store. I'll probably make some money, do pretty well there. Um, and then, like I said, the AdSense for the video. So I just wanna make those two things really clear before um, we open the box. So what, where is this box from? Well, I saw Jess, um, Jessie, Gore Jess, over on TikTok, she's also on YouTube. I'll link her YouTube channel below. And she had opened a box from America's Thrift Supply. I will link them below. So what is America's Thrift Supply? It says, um, America's Thrift Supply from America's Thrift Stores is an e-commerce site connecting resellers with gently used clothing, shoes, home goods, toys, jewelry, and more. Our inventory is sourced directly from our thousands of local donation centers with the goal being to take products that don't find a home in our stores and give them a second chance at America's thrift supply before becoming environmentally harmful landfill waste. With decades of experience, our packaging and shipping expertise ensures delivery of exceptional products, saving you time and money. Now, I've never seen an America's thrift store they have a picture of a store that says America's Thrift Stores serving the Southeast since 1984. We refresh each of our 24 stores with over 10,000 unique items every single day. Have you ever seen one of these stores? Southeast. So that'd be like Florida, the Carolinas? I don't know. I've never heard of it. But they have a number of boxes they have mystery boxes, and then they have something called micro bales. Um, the micro bales are 100, I believe they're all 100 pound. There's some 50 and 75, but mostly they're 100 pound bundles of clothing. They have blouses, dresses, adventure supply, um, plush, they have jeans, and so these are much larger. They do seem to go in and out of stock a lot, um, I guess they restock every Friday at 4 p.m. Central. So there's that. So if you're looking for bulk, that might be a fun thing. And also, if you have a YouTube channel, order it and do a YouTube video on it because these videos can do well with AdSense. Total transparency. But then they also have these mystery boxes. They have jewelry, apparel, purses, jeans, shoes, um, Harley Davidson, outdoor apparel, watch supplies, band tees, um, Legos, comic books, Carhartt, um, Nike, jerseys, Lululemon, Lily Pulitzer, sports apparel, Uggs, and NASCAR and racing. That's what's up there right now. I ordered two boxes. 
I ordered what I saw Jess get, and that was the Apparel Supply Mystery Box, 10 pieces for $29.99. And then I also bought the brand name Purse Supply, five pieces for $49.49. Um, and was shipping free? Now I can't remember. They show me my invoice, but they, oh, shipping was free. So I paid $74.98 for the brand name purse supply, five pieces, and the apparel supply mystery, 10 pieces. So everything came in one big box, nicely packaged, nicely packaged. Um, These are called scissors. So let's just dig on it. Interested to see, because since I got two boxes, how it was all put in here. Still can't get it open. One moment. All right, everything came in the box. There's my invoice. And we have a card. Oh, I can get a code influencer. Oh no, you can use code influencer. Or <laughs> ten percent off. Wait. Unbox your purchase on YouTube or share on Instagram for ten percent off your next order. Use code influencer for ten percent off. Well, then you don't have to make a video. You just use the code. I'm confused. Um, that looks like the purses are on top. So let's do, okay, this, again, this was five purses for $44.99. And first we have an Ugg purse. Cute little crossbody. Got the suede. This is really cute. And it looks clean from everything that I am seeing. It looks nice and clean. My consignment store will definitely like this. Not now, I'll have to save it for next year. And please, 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 please don't email me asking if you can buy any of this. I'm not shipping this year. I'm not shipping, <laughs> not doing any online anything. So please understand, it just, it's stress for me that I don't need. I'm, they'll go to the consignment store. So first we have a nice UGG bag. I haven't sold an Ugg bag in quite a while, um, but I used to pick them up when I would see them, which wasn't too often in Iowa, but I would pick them up if I saw them. So I think that's a pretty good deal. I'm at my thrift store, Goodwill, you know, these would be like five, six dollars. So the Ugg bag, maybe I should look and see what it's selling for on eBay. Maybe that'd be good information. Okay, so I actually see one that just sold for just like this, exactly $29.99 plus the buyer paid shipping. So yeah, 30 bucks for this, not a bad deal. Like I said, it's very clean. So this box again, the purses were 50. So we've already got a $30. Next bag is this. Now this is leather and it's fry. It is a little beat up, so it would need a little bit of cleaning, but let's check and see. Every time I see Fry, I think that um, music festival, did you guys watch that? Where all those people paid, those celebrities paid all that money, or they were gonna bring celebrities and then people paid all that money um, <laughs> to go and they were like intense, it was amazing. Um, okay, oh. Fry Italian leather. Let me just see if I can find this. There's one that's. Okay, these are going for upwards of $100 and some more. Did I say I wasn't going to sell on eBay this year? Okay. 
I was just scrolling to see if I can find one. I mean, the prices are all over the place, but there's some on here that are a few hundred, not this. Um, but like, this seems like it would be an easy hundred dollars right here. Um, somebody with the leather cleaner. I mean, it's clean. It's just clearly been, you know, used. But I could assume I could list this on eBay for a hundred dollars. So so far we've got a hundred and thirty dollars um, on a fifty or a forty-five dollar investment. I'm thinking we're done pretty well here, American Thrift Supply. Okay, the next bag is this little one, and this is Margot. Margo New York Genuine Leather. Let's look it up on eBay. I know a lot of you sell on Poshmark too. I'm not looking it up on Poshmark. I don't even know what, how to look Poshmark solds up. Can you? I'm sure there is a way, but we'll just go for Margo Leather. Margo Leather Crossbody. That sounds like what this is. 50 bucks? Again, prices, you know, they're kind of all over. This is like, um, so what did we call this? Well, I mean, it's, what do we call this? What do we call this? Ugh, I'm stuck in my brain. It's whatever. I wanna say seatbelt, but not a seatbelt. Lattice, Ugh. good grief. Not seeing one exactly like this. And again, prices are kind of anywhere from 30 and up. But like if I could get 30 for this, it does have some scuffing, of course, and things. But in a little ding here. But otherwise, I don't know if I could get 30 for that maybe. Well, we've already made our money on this. Oh, we have, oh, this is nice, Calvin Klein. This is a nylon bag. And it has, I don't even think it was ever used. It still has a little tissue on it. Got a little bit of scuffing in there. Probably whoever donated it, maybe threw some other things in there. But let's see what Calvin Klein is going for. Dang, this is a really good, <laughs> so far we're doing quite well. So Klein, nylon, it's not a crossbody, it's a shoulder. All right, let's see what we get for this baby. If we've got anything. You know, Calvin Klein typically, it's all over the place. Um, probably somebody would like it because it has this screaming Calvin Klein. And it has not ever been used, although it is a little scuffed just from the wear. There's one similar, not exactly, but sold for 68, 52. Again, kind of all over the place. Cause this is nice and large. Um, I suppose if I were listing it on eBay, I'd maybe put it up for 50 and put best offer on it. I don't think it would go for 50 but a really nice bag, really nice. Okay. What's this? This must be the other bag. Why was it in a, why was it in a poly? It's in a poly. Oh. Brand new with tags. London Fog. Retail MSRP 150. We all know that doesn't really mean anything, but this is a lovely, nice professional looking London Fog with the tags. Let's see what London Fog bags like this are going for on eBay. You guys remember the eBay commercials with the songs? They say they're shopping day and night on eBay. 
Everyone was complaining. Why doesn't eBay do any advertising? Why doesn't eBay do any advertising? So they came out with all these commercials with songs. Why is eBay doing that stupid song commercial? I don't like that commercial. Nah, nah, nah. Then they didn't do any more ads. I'm like, people, you ruined it. <laughs> there aren't a lot of London Fog bags in the solds. Um, these don't go for a ton, but new with tags, it looks like maybe 30. It just depends. Some of the, like the um, brightly colored ones seem a little better. I'm not finding this one exactly, and there aren't a ton, but maybe like $30, $40. Maybe something like list for, again, like list for 50 and take a best offer. So the bag one, again, this was $45. I got a brand new tag, London Fog. A new without tags, Calvin Klein. This Margot New York leather little crossbody. A fry leather bag. Does have condition issues, but it is genuine leather. Somebody can clean it up. This definitely is the most valuable of these. And then an UGG uh, little crossbody, nice and clean. So that was a winner. The handbag box, a definite winner. Let me know what you think. Let's move on to clothes. The cl Again, these are just kind of thrown in here. First up, we have this puffer jacket. And it is from the brand, I have no clue. It's from this brand. <laughs> I have no clue. N-U-A-G-E. Now, the mixed clothing brand could be men's, women's, um, doesn't matter. What is the size? I'm not seeing anything. This one looks a little suspect. But let's go up here. Now I got to scroll all the way to the top of eBay. I've never heard of this brand. N-U-A-G-E coat. Whoops, I actually wrote goat. It's not a goat, it's a coat. Okay. Looks like it's maybe a European brand because most of the solds are overseas. Um, I'm trying to find the size or what it, it's a man, men's or women's. What are you? You're an enigma. Could I, ju I just want a size. I just want a size. I cannot get a size. Like, it's not unisex. Wait, extra, extra small. Hmm. These are going anywhere from Gosh, I'm trying to find a puffer. 40, 45, 60, 40. I mean, it's an extra, extra small. <clears throat> so there's that. But that's perfect for me to take next um, fall to my consignment store. So there's that. Okay. Next, oh. Oh, it's new with tags, Lucky Brand, like a Henley, extra large. Tell if this is a men's or a women's. It, the MSRP, forty nine fifty, extra large. I feel like this is a man's. A little wrinkly, but I'll just um, hang it up, let the wrinkles come out, and this is perfect for me again, to take to the consignment store, but let's see what maybe we could get for it on eBay. Do, do, do. I love that song. Okay, Lucky Ribbed XL Henley. Brand new with tags. Um, 10, 11. Not very many on here. Um, but again, that will actually, they'll probably price that up at my consignment store. I'll take it. Okay, next up we have 
a another lucky it is a medium little blouse very straight I got a button it but let's see medium oh come back <gasps> you little stinker so we've got lucky medium button down There are over 6,000 listings. Oh, because they gave me jeans too. This is a women's top. 481 solds. And it's kind of hard to tell because there's a bunch, but like 20 seems to be the average, 15 to 20. Just kind of, you know, it depends. I don't think this, you know, again, for eBay, Poshmark, I'm not sure. It does show, you know, it's a little, hmm. Huh? But I, honestly, I'll wash it up and Lucky Brand will get marked up well at my consignment store. Again, this is a 10-piece clothing bag for $29.99 with free shipping. So I think we've done pretty well. Another new with tag. See, this is what I saw Jessica. She was like, it's new with tag. I'm like, what is going on? Oh, Talbot's Plus. Talbot's Plus 2X turtleneck sweater, brand new with tags um looks like it was regularly 94.50 on sale for 79.99 got some nice button detail let's see what a talbot's 2x sweater is currently selling for or has sold recently because i'm looking at the solds talbot's 2x Black, ribbed, sweater, new with tag. Let's be real specific. No exact result. Well, for crying out loud. <sighs> sweater. See, people should be using keywords like I do. Doo -doo -doo. What happened here? 2X sweater. Oh, I guess I made it too specific. It's not giving me very many results. We'll take out sweater, or I'm sorry, we'll take out black. Do I get more results? 26, okay. 25, 22, 22, 30, 25, 40. I mean, if it were me, I'd probably be listing this for like, 30 or 40 with best offer. That's what I do. Next, we have some leather pants. And they're free people. Size six. Faux leather, I'm assuming. This is like, I'm really sh surprised. <laughs> By how good everything has been. I mean, I'm definitely not, you know, there hasn't really been a dud. I mean, the Lucky brand, the one shirt was kind of eh, but still. Okay, let's just go free people, faux leather pants. Hey, come back here and see free people. Faux leather pants on eBay. $30, $22, $20, $10, $15, $20, $25, $30, $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000
Are these children's? 25 regular. Good Lord. Who's fitting into these? But they're made in the USA, so let's let's do the old the old eBay search. Okay. Adri Ano. Whoops. A D R I A N O Gold Schmied. Oh. Jeans. What are they this size? Let's see, 22, 22, 30, 30, 25, 17. These are black, 15. The thing with these is the size, <laughs> like, good luck finding the person who can wear these. Um, 25, what did I say? 25 regular. So maybe 20, honestly, 15. If I got 15 for those, I'd probably be happy on eBay. Um, next up, oh, we got a Calvin Klein. I'm excited about Calvin Klein because I know my consignment store will put this on the nice rack. The Bitter Brands rack. It's a medium. It's a Calvin Klein. It's a blouse. It's silky jersey. Silky jersey. That's not a song. Okay. Calvin Klein. Black. Jersey. Blouse. Probably too many keywords since people are not using keywords. Um, let's see, 18, 15, 13. Calvin Klein does not bring much. Tw oh, this is the exact same one. $20 new a tag. I had to buy it now. This is not new a tag, but they got 20. So I would probably list it for 20. Honestly, what I would do a lot was I would list it with free shipping. So I'd probably put like, 25 with free shipping and then mark it down just to move it. But the consignment store will enjoy that one. Oh, we have some slacks. Oh, and they're men's pants. Tommy Hilfiger. Another brand that does well at my consignment store. These are, I'm assuming they're men's. Oh, they're petite. No. 34 waist, 32 long. These are men's. Men's Tommy Hilfiger blue slacks. Those will do well at the consignment store. Tommy Hilfiger, always did well with Tommy Hilfiger women on eBay. Not so much with the men. Men's blue pants. We'll just put pants. 40, 20. These are second hand, so that'll. I would probably list something like this, like $24.99. I'd probably do $24.99 free shipping. Mm, it might be right at the edge there. Put it in a poly bag and move it fast. Then we have this little tiny, is this a children's? Oh, it's another Lucky, size medium. A Lucky brand logo tee. I'm not gonna look that up because again, it would probably be like 10 bucks on eBay, but consignment store. And then one more piece and it is, stop, it's Oscar de la Renta. An Oscar de la Renta sweater. What? Extra large. Oscar de la Renta. What? What? Y'all, I'm shook. As the kids say. Oscar de la Renta sweater. Women's sweater. Do... 20. <laughs> Where do they sell this? Macy's maybe? I don't think Oscar de la Renta has the clout it once did. 15, 20, 30, kind of all over the place. It is a, and it's an extra large, so that's a good, um, oh, it's 22. Here's one that's kind of similar. 25. 
They did 25 with reshipping. So again, not obviously going to bring much on eBay, but again, I've got all of these clothing items for $30 with free shipping. So the Oscar de la Renta sweater, that flap is obstructing the view. This Free People shirt, the Tommy Hilfiger men's pants, Calvin Klein blouse, the um, Adriano Goldschmied tiny little pants. They're tiny. The Free People faux leather leggings. We have do, do, do. this was the Talbot's brand new a tag sweater. This is really the only one that was kind of like, and just because it's kind of wrinkly, but this Lucky Brand top. Brand new with tags, Lucky Brand shirt. And then we have this puffer jacket. I'm really impressed. This is for the price. Um, this is definitely the best liquidation box I've ever seen. Um, so, yeah. I mean, from what I got, I'm like, this is awesome. Again, I spent $74.98 um, on the five bags and the 10 pieces of clothing. And just off the top of my head, I'm thinking this is probably 400, 500 net profit after all said and done. No, we're a little high. Maybe 400 net profit if I'm doing my math. We know, <laughs> why am I trying to do math in my head? But I think this was a really good box. If you're someone who has struggled to find good inventory, um, this would be good stuff too, I think, to cross post if you're doing eBay and Poshmark. I know for eBay, this is good stuff. I don't know about Poshmark specifically. But overall, I think um, America's thrift supply, American thrift supply, is a good deal. Um, I will link them below. I'll link Jess's channel below too. She did her unboxing on um, TikTok. But as for me, this is a definite thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I do have some more unboxings and things coming. So we shall see um, that. So if you're interested in the reselling content, more will be coming. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.